You know, the Upchuck 50K was, was started really just by Chad Walmack and I. The first year we did it was in 2005, just sort of figuring out what we were gonna do for the weekend. And we gave it a go fairly bright and early on a Saturday morning and, you know, with the hopes of, you know, hitting that uh, convenience store there off of the J Corridor at Highway 111. You do cross three very significant creeks at the bottom of the gorges. At the time, super scary, super sketchy. The water was up. Uh, there was zero bridges at the creek crossings. It's, it's rugged, you know. I mean, it's short, steep climbs, and it's just all day. It's like a sawtooth. It took us quite a while to get to the J Corridor, and once we got there, I was feeling dreadful, man. I was just... Hurting. He's a gearhead, you know, he loved, like he probably stayed up the entire night before for this little run, just packing his bag just right and getting it all dialed. And The mistake I made was the night before getting all amped up and geeked out, you know, the night before laying out all the gear was, is I mixed up about 100 ounces of this Perpetuum, which is a hammer product. Well, it, it has protein in it and I didn't fully understand ramifications of that and I set it out on the kitchen counter all night so I put it into my backpack we started running we're about 15 miles into the race I'm sipping on this stuff and it's just terrible but that's all I got you know we get to about mile 18 where we cross a road just telling myself just get to that point everything's gonna be all right there's a little convenience store there and Chad goes in I go in and just get a pack of crackers Chad comes out with had a whole bag of stuff and was just, you know, just eat, taking it down. Which would be fine, you know, if he was just gonna eat a little bit of it and keep going, but he, he literally ate all of it. It was going down so good, I just pretty much, before I knew it, had eaten and drank everything I bought. And um, I didn't say anything, but I thought, man, that's, that's a little odd for Chad, you know? So finally, Matt's like, we had to get going, and you know, I'm starting to feel a little better. You know, the lights turn back on a little bit, start running down the road, and quickly look down at my belly, and I'm just bloated. It is just out to here. I'm just bloated, you know, just like, uh-oh, this doesn't feel good. You know, I had a few hundred yards before we got on the trail, and we hadn't been on the trail 25 yards, and I just started spewing everywhere. I'm just puking, and I had to kind of keep running because I started almost puking <laughs> and it just wouldn't stop and so I pretty much threw up everything I had in my stomach. He suffers along for the next 10 miles basically puking every 10 minutes and uh, there was no there was no bail out of I me. Mean, we had a car at the end and a car at the beginning. It was brutal finding the way to the end all the way to the Rock Creek segment and, and we finally got there and I'm sure I was pale as a ghost and Matt was sort of limping along with me and we made it. Of course, the race came up later. We should put a race on, Upchuck 50K is how that whole thing got, got started. So the, the full sort of scope of what we'd found was just incredible, you know. Chad's puke fest at uh, Jones Gap Road. My name's Chad Weichel. This was my first year running the Upchuck race. I've spent a lot of time out on pieces of the trail. I'm a rock climber, and as great luck would have it, Deep Creek holds fantastic world-class rock climbing. Five, six years ago, myself and some friends set up camp, had a little fire. All of us feeling like, wow, we're really remote out here. There was this massive noise coming from the creek down below us massive sound, loud, like an airplane engine. We started imagining it might be this frog, this 50 pound frog, this massive thing down there. None of us brave enough to get up and go take a look. As we were laughing at each other, suddenly we get bombarded by these massive insects. And to begin with, we thought they were bats. We're getting hit in the head with these giant things and like a, a hordes of giant locusts were, were descending on us and all of us pansies jumped up and ran into our tent, still peeling these big insects off of each other. Definitely seen some crazy wildlife out there. Heard, seen, felt. Once you find houses as you come out of this area, Moby Mountain is a rural area for sure. Uh, my last name, Weichel, uh, a German family from, from the mountains of North Carolina, originally were married into a family called the Sluters. A ton of Sluters worked on uh, the mines that are in Deep Creek. And because they worked on mines, they also died in mines. So a lot of the, the cemeteries around the area are full of my relatives. 
hard workers, maybe not very smart. <laughs>